Hello everyone, uh, in this tutorial we see how to create a doyotone color effect like this. It's basically a monotone color effect that's been recently used in a Spotify branding website. So we see how we're gonna uh, recreate this effect uh, in Adobe Photoshop. It's uh, really simple and we're gonna use this uh, gradient map to do so. Alright, fantastic, so let's get to it. Alright, so open your Adobe Photoshop and just open the image that you want to use. Now, the first thing we'll do will try to remove the picture from its background. So, uh, it's easier for, for this picture because it has a white background. So, I'm just gonna go and choose uh, Magic Wine tool in here and I'm just gonna one click and as you can see, it will select all the whites in the background. Alright, now I'm just gonna uh, invert the selection, so I'll press Ctrl Shift I. And I'm just gonna click this refine edge so we're gonna make our selection a little bit better. So we're just gonna one click and I'm just gonna uh, check smart radius and then I'll put the radius for like two pixels and press go to the output and I'm gonna uh, choose new layer with layer mask and press OK. And as you can see it will create a new layer with a layer mask in it. Right now I'm gonna go and choose file new because I want to create uh, this in this measure in here so I'll press OK and I'm gonna go and drag my picture in this new document I just created and I'm gonna press Ctrl T so I'm gonna resize the image I'm gonna put it like so and I'm gonna just replace it somewhere in the middle in here all right I think it looks good okay now as you can see uh, we have it in a white background let me just go and uh, try to make uh, the other edges for my layer mask all right now I'm gonna go and choose gradient map and as you can see, uh, we, we need to change this uh, gradient map in here. So just one click. And as you can see, I already have eight gradient that's already created for this tutorial. You will find this gradient in the link from the description below. So just download it and you know just go and load it to your gradients in here. So I will go and choose this first one in here, below to green in here. You can you know experience with all the other gradient in here. There's a lot of uh, great gradient that you can use. I like this one too, but I'm just gonna uh, make this uh, blue to uh, green in here and press OK. Now I'll go and choose brightness and contrast, and I'm just gonna put 50 for the contrast, and I'm gonna go and choose type. And I'm just gonna type some words so we can recreate the, the Spotify branding. And the font I'm using is called Lee Gothic Regular. It's come with Adobe Photoshop. You can find this in there. And I'm gonna put 510 points for its size. I'm just gonna type rock. And I'm just gonna make it in here. Right, somewhere like that and I'm just gonna duplicate the same one in here and put it in here and I'm just gonna type and roll okay and I will just put it somewhere in here all right okay as you can see now I want to, to make this uh, rock in here behind our picture in here and I want to hide this, uh, this uh, uh, the parts of the O from the, uh, the second uh, type in here. So we need like to apply a layer mask to do, to do that. But we already have this layer mask with the, the, uh, the, our image already colored in it. So I'm just gonna uh, press Alt and just gonna make a copy of it and put it in this first type in here. And as you can see, this will delete uh, the other uh, type that's uh, it's that's not in our picture. 
but we can just invert the selection so I press Ctrl I and this will reverse it as you can see now I'm gonna copy the same layer to the, the second type in here so I'm just gonna press Alt again and put it in here and as you can see this will delete all the, the, the type that is inside our picture so I'm just gonna go and uh, select the brush tool in here and make sure the white is selected and the, the, the layer in here is selected and I'm just gonna start brushing like so it will make the font appear like that as you can see and that's all I want in here I just want to be this uh, this hidden like so and as you can see in here it's not that uh, there is a little bit of selection in here so I'm just gonna go try to fix that really quickly alright now I'll go, I will go and choose uh, curves and I'll just put it on the top in here and it's gonna put one point in here and make it up a little bit so we're gonna uh, put a little bit of light to our image as you can see all right something like that and there you go all right so i hope that you enjoy and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and share this video and wait for more tutorial to come and have a nice day thank you for watching